So we're here with Emma Unsworth, and Emma, you've just written your debut novel. Can you tell us a little bit about it? I can. It's, um, it's called Hungry and Stars and Everything, and it's published by Hidden Gen Press, which is a new independent publisher of Stars in Manchester this year. And the book is about, I guess it's all of my passions really. I think that's what, that's what I put into the book, which means that it probably, it sounds quite crazy when you talk about it thematically, because it's, when people say, what's it about? I say, well, it's about food, and it's about physics, and it's about romance, and it's about the devil. And that, I think the polite word is quirky, but actually it just sounds quite crazy. Um, but hopefully, I mean, I, I found a way that I thought, I found a story that I thought worked with all those elements and all those themes. And hopefully people who read the book will feel the same and enjoy it. And how long has this been sort of an idea of yours to do a book? Oh, years. Um, I probably spent about two years writing this particular book, but before that I had a couple of false starts. Um, and aside from that, I was writing short stories as well, which I really enjoyed. And they're obviously much easier to get a handle on because they're shorter, so you can finish them um, in a week or so. Um, whereas a book is a real long commitment. And and yeah, it, it was um, incredibly difficult, but I'm glad, very glad that I did it and I managed to finish one and then it's come out. And, and yeah, just go on and write more now and hopefully get better in writing books. And um, it's, it's based in Manchester, isn't it, the book? It is. Yeah. So is it based on your own experiences as well, would you say? Or how, how did it...? In part, because I think, well, for me, fiction always is. But I'd hope that it's a, a, a good mix of my experience and my imagination. Um, and out of that, there's a satisfying story. Um, so, so, yeah, I'd say in part, but, but that hopefully there's a, a load of imagination in there as well. Excellent. And um, how did you find it sort of combining it with your job? Because you've worked as a journalist before, haven't you? And obviously you worked for the Manchester Evening News in the past as well. That's right, yeah, yeah. So I've been working freelance. It was only really when I went freelance that I had the, the time to, to commit to a novel. I know some people, most people write novels around nine to five. And I tried and it just didn't work for me for whatever reasons. But, um, but then after I went freelance, I could devote the whole day to just kind of really getting my head stuck into what I was writing. Um, and so, so yeah, I'd say the, the, even though now I'm still sort of doing bits and bobs of journalism, I do a column for the big issue um, and other things now and then. Um, even though I've got those going on, I can combine my writing with them. I'd say the marked difference for me is probably my fiction is where I can truly write whatever I want to write, and that's maybe why it comes out so crazy, so quirky. Um, but, but there is sort of, I feel a true freedom in, in what I write. And that defines it for me, so and hopefully, I'll, well, I'm determined to, to keep it that way to, to only write what I want to write mm. in my fiction. Yeah. And um, I noticed the book is dedicated to Guy, and that's your um, your your partner. Yeah. Um, did he inspire you at all in terms of the writing of it? or? What? Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. We definitely use each other as a sort of sounding board for, for our ideas, um, and, and yeah, that works really well. And, and it just it, it works well in terms of understanding each other in that we're both we're both really weird at home. We both kind of need lots of time alone and we've got rooms at opposite ends of the house so that when we're working in them we're not aware of the other person's existence mm. and that's really necessary. Yeah. Um, because you just have to well, the way that we work we need our own little worlds to just mm. kind of be in without any any awareness of any yeah. attachments or reality or you know anything like that so so yeah so that that works really well and yeah we, yeah we meet up for a cup of tea now and then because <laughs> of course guys are musician so it must be yeah. quite quite um, interesting in your household having two very creative minds we've got him soundproofed <laughs> we've got a soundproof room in the loft <laughs> and that, that's, um, ah, that's, that's a good, good. plan <laughs> and have you already started work on a second book have I finished the first draft of the second book oh. and I started the third but I've, only because I'm kind of I wanted to let the first draft of the second book sit for a while um, and I'm, my agent sort of like been looking at it so now I think I'm just it's about a month since I, I finished that so I'm ready I think now to sort of do the editing which will probably take the most of the summer mm. to get the book edited because it's very very first draft of the moment. Right, fabulous. I guess um, get this one launched first, isn't it? Though, and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and this is this one's out. Um, it's Monday, isn't it? Six, is it sixteenth of June? I think it's this Thursday. Yeah, next, uh, Thursday, next Thursday. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. That's great. Thank you.